the given question rather and the image what you're seeing over here is identify the structure mark as a in the following figure i'll just enlarge the image for you so that you have a clearer idea as to what you're going to be seeing so this seems to be more looking like a uh, transverse section than a longitudinal what is a transverse section is it's a horizontal section so if this is my tooth okay and if i cut it here and i look it at it under the microscope that is what is called as a transverse section whereas a longitudinal section is going to be along the long axis of the tooth okay so if you can notice in the image over here you can see that it is looking brown in color so as we know brown colored images are usually representing enamel because enamel underground sections that is your hard tissue sections is going to appear brown in color so there are four structures that have been marked a b c and d okay so all of these structures that you are seeing over here are hypocalcified what is hypocalcified means there is decreased mineral content as compared to normal so why does enamel appear brown is because when you are making a ground section in enamel there are small air droplets or air rather that goes and gets seated within the hypocalcified structures and that has a different refractive index as compared to the normal and that is because of that change in refractive index the light when it is passed onto this it changes its direction and it gives out the brown color and that is the reason why the ground sections of enamel look brown in color okay now uh, if you can look at this under the mic uh, microscope you can see that there are all the post structures that are marked as what you have as hypocalcified so that means there is decreased calcium content as compared to normal so enamel has a lot of hypocalcified structures but one of the most important things is uh the fact that the four images that are uh, rather the four markings that you are seeing in this image over here because these are very normally asked in your exams and also these are the most commonly seen hypocalcified structures okay so as we know enamel as such when it is being laid down it is laid down in increments that means it is not a continuous process that the whole enamel is laid down and the whole thing is calcified no so ameloblasts they secrete the matrix once they secrete the matrix that matrix gets 30% calcified and after that the rest of the calcification occurs so once this calcification occurs ameloblasts then secrete again another matrix and that also gets calcified so there is a period when there is no matrix secreted so when you have your ameloblasts and the matrix has been secreted over here then the ameloblasts move forward and during this phase where they move forward there is going to be no matrix secretion so at that point there is going to be no calcification that is going to occur so that is why it occurs in increments the enamel is getting deposited rather all your hard tissues get deposited in increments it is not a single process okay so because there is a phase where you do not have any matrix secretion that leads to incremental lines and these incremental lines are what is called as incremental lines of redsius these incremental lines of redsius when you see it on the uh, macroscope that is when you seeing it in the patient's mouth they will appear as imbrication lines of pickerel okay these are just important points and important mcq that they might ask you in addition to that when you look at uh the micro when you look at a ground section under the microscope you will see few more structures one of them is enamel spindle so what is this enamel spindle is like a, like you know you have the dentino enamel junction that is the place where the odontoblasts and the ameloblasts they meet and then they start secreting their respective tissues now at the dj what will happen is your odontoblasts they secrete the dentine and ultimately in they form what is called as an odontoblastic process now sometimes the odontoblastic process it goes and gets embedded itself into the uh, enamel so when it goes and gets embedded into the enamel the structure appears somewhat like this which you will see within the enamel and this is what is called as an enamel spindle so an enamel spindle is nothing but the uh, odontoblastic process or the terminal portion of the odontoblast which is present in the enamel enamel tufts on the other hand are what you see over here i'll use a different color this is what is an enamel tuft 
so a tuft is basically it appears like a tuft of grass so this is what it looks like so when you and they are attached to the dentino enamel junction and they are seen within the enamel these enamel tufts are present within the inner one third of the enamel. They do not extend more than the inner one third. Okay. Then you have what are called as lamellae. Lamellae are nothing but uh, vertical lines that extend from the outer surface of the enamel towards the inner surface of the enamel. At times, it is very difficult to differentiate between a lamellae and a crack. Now, it is considered to be that most of the lamellae that you see are actually nothing but cracks in the enamel. Okay. So, if you open your uh, organs, these lamellae are considered to be of three types. Type A, type B and type C. Okay. Type A has certain types of cells or proteins, type B. So, just if you have the time, just go and look at it once. Now, this is another image. And the reason why I have kept so many images for you is because each of these ground sections can come as a potential MCQ for you because enamel is a very important topic for enamel as well as uh, development of tooth. Both of these are very important MCQ questions that they usually prefer asking in your neat papers. Okay. So, what you see over here is A, B and C. A is nothing but a tuft. B is a spindle and C is a lamella. Now, coming to your question over here, you have A, B, C and D. So, your A is nothing but your incremental lines of red Cs, sorry. The B is your enamel tuft. C is an enamel lamella. And D is dentino enamel junction. Okay. 